A moment of high drama in Atlanta today when Georgia election worker Shea Moss took the stand at the defamation trial of Rudy Giuliani face to face with the man she says is responsible for ruining her life. But Giuliani tried to claim that all the lies he told about Moss and her mother, Ruby Freeman, are in fact true, setting up a confrontation with the judge. When I testify, you'll get the whole story and it will be definitively clear that what I said was true and that whatever happened to them, which is it's unfortunate if other people overreacted, but everything I said about them is true. Do you regret no, what I, you did? To of Rudy course Trump? I don't regret it. I told the truth. Well, the judge sees it differently. The judge already found Giuliani liable for defaming the two former Georgia election workers, falsely claiming they committed fraud in the 2020 election. The question now is what price he'll have to pay for that. They are seeking between 15 and 43 million dollars in damages. NBC's Ryan Riley is reporting for us outside the district court in Washington, D.C. Also with us, Barbara McQuaid, former U.S. attorney, University of Michigan law professor and an MSNBC legal analyst. So I understand the court just came back into session after lunch break, Ryan. This morning, jurors did hear from Shea Moss for two hours. What did she have to say? And what did the judge tell Giuliani before the jury was brought back in a few minutes ago? Yeah, it was really dramatic testimony about how the, the impact that these lies had um, on her life. And this was a job that she got after she graduated from college and had worked there for years, first for five years as a temporary worker and then getting a permanent job for uh, for those last five years that she was in there. Uh, she had been hoping for a promotion and thought that she would be um, eligible for that after uh, all of these lies were sort of spread. In fact, the day that she found out about these false videos that were being promoted by Giuliani, she went in with a smile on her face when she went in to meet with her boss because she thought she was getting a promotion that she had uh, that she thought she, she had earned. And as it turned out, it was much more devastating news about these lies that were being spread about her. And it really upended her life. She said she put on about 70 pounds, in fact, after all of this and has gone into depression uh, because of the impact that this has had on her life with random strangers uh, showing up at her mother's door, uh, people sending pizzas to her grandmother's house, all sorts of horrific attacks and a lot of racism embedded in all of that. Um, and it, it, and what the judge Hal said uh, just earlier today, in fact, just as the jury before the jury was coming back in, is that Giuliani cannot continue to testify during his testimony expected later this week that these false claims were true because Giuliani just doesn't seem to be able to give up this initial lie. He wants to pretend like there was some basis for this, and there just wasn't. There was no basis from this. They did nothing wrong. That's been established uh, for for a very long time now that these two election workers did nothing wrong, and these attacks were false. Uh, so. So uh, that's where things stand today as uh, now uh, Shea Moss is being questioned uh, by Rudy Giuliani's uh, lawyer as uh, jurors listen on here.